Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a foundation first impressions and it actually happens to be also from Hourglass. This is not a PR sample like my last Hourglass review was. This I just purchased with my own money because I saw it and I was like, it's a triangle. I know, I don't know why. It was the dumbest purchase that I've ever made because you guys know I don't wear foundation. I don't like full coverage foundation and I don't ever wear it, so I don't know. I saw it with a triangle and I was like, oh my god, that's like fucking amazing. So I bought it. Makeup artist problems. All right, anyway, this is the brand new Hourglass Vanish Stick Primer. It looks Vanish Stick Primer. This is the brand new Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. It is the same concept as the Makeup Forever HD Stick where it is a push up stick of foundation product. A lot of other brands have these as well, but the one that I think most people are familiar with is the Makeup Forever HD. That one I have never bothered to purchase because again, I don't like foundation, so I, I don't know why I bought this. It just looked really cool. So anyway, I'm going to be testing this out. It is said to be a very, very full coverage foundation. You don't need a lot. Um, this is the second time I'm filming this video because the first time I hated it. But then I went to Sephora and talked to a person who was very familiar with using it and got trained by an hourglass rep who went to the store and whatnot and introduced the product. And apparently, you are not supposed to do swipes of this like you would a Makeup Forever foundation. You are supposed to stamp it. So let me just zoom you in, um, but first let me show you the product. The foundation looks like this, very typical hourglass packaging with this kind of metallic chocolate finish, and then the hourglass logo. When you twist up the foundation, it comes out like this in a triangle shape. And I chose the shade Sand because it was the same as the one they sent me. I'm thinking it's a little light for my face, actually, but we'll see. Um, and yeah, so that's just one swipe. It is supposed to be very full coverage. Oh, so let me... Dumbo ears. All right, let us begin. So I'm just going to stamp this on my face. Apparently, four, like, stamps should be enough for, like, one cheek, is what I was told. And then you are just supposed to glide this over the face. And not with a beauty blender. You're supposed to, like, actually use a brush. I don't know if just stamping it... I don't know if just stamping it was enough. Um, let me try it again. I'm gonna put a few more stamps there. And I'm using the Artiste Dupe Brush Frick from King Star. This is the Oval 2. I mean, actually, my skin looks really good right now, so... I'm gonna put two... I don't really know. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just going in. The finish is absolutely stunning now that I'm using it this way. Uh, she was right, totally stamping is better, um, but not four. Four was not enough for this whole portion of my face. But you totally do use a lot less product than you would like a standard foundation, because I'm literally, in terms of width, this is, what I'm putting on my face is microns thin. It's just, it's almost nothing what I'm putting on the thickness, but it's really actually blending out really nicely and giving me good coverage. Now, I do, and I'm not really ashamed to say this, or I don't feel like I need to be like, oh, disclaimer, I have like really fucking good skin. All right, I do, and I know that it has been a long process, and I am very proud to say it, so I'm not gonna hide it. I have excellent skin. So, that said, I probably don't need as much foundation as some people do, and this probably isn't really changing my skin too much than it already looks like, but what marks and what coverage or what things I did need covered, they're like gone. Um, this shade, yes, may be a tad light for me right now. I'm gonna, ooh, oh no. It's starting to like warp, so definitely don't press hard um, and maybe keep it not out so far. I was keeping it out kind of far. Um, this is going on beautifully. The last time I did it, I just did swipes of the product and it was so heavy. This is a flawless finish. It's very perfect. I could definitely go over with a few more stamps here and there, but again, you guys know I do not 
like full coverage at all. Um, but let me just show you what happens when you do swipe it. So when you do swipe this foundation, it's like super, super full coverage. Um, so you really, and do you see, it's just giving me, it's giving it so much more of like a mask appearance. Like this is very heavy. So yeah, you definitely want to stamp unless you have like an area where you know you're gonna need a lot of coverage and you can maybe swipe just in that one spot. But I don't know if you can tell the difference. This side where I just swiped, it looks much less natural than this side. This side's a little more skin-like, whereas this is a little more, it's, it's a little too porcelain. So you definitely don't want to swipe. Stamping is perfectly sufficient. That was way too much. But like, do you see? It kind of just disappears. It just goes away but it definitely covers up. As with any stick foundation or any cake textured foundation, when you get to this area over here where you have vellus hairs, you want to blend down because it will stick to those hairs and make them stick up and they do go in a downward growth direction. All right, so I'm gonna go finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back in just a second. And you guys, we're gonna be doing this Tati style. I am going to wear this for the whole day and do a check-in um, periodically just to show you guys how it's holding up and I will not be touching it up or anything like that It is staying how it is on my face after I finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back Alright, so I have just finished doing the rest of my makeup after the hourglass vanish foundation Powders went on actually beautifully. I didn't need to really set the foundation This is what it looks like on with makeup on top of it I am going to continue my day edit a little bit. I may have to go out for a little while if I do I will vlog um, and yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a few hours. I'm gonna try to do a full eight hour wear even though I I'm doing this for you guys. I hate foundation. So we're gonna um, Just we're just gonna deal with it. But yeah, definitely like think liking this one a whole lot more than the Immaculate I also want to mention I did not apply a primer underneath this and um, Powders did not really skip on top of it. They just blended perfectly and again I didn't set with powder after using this so Really, really good first impressions so far. I will continue wearing it. It is currently 11.01 p.m. AM, and I'll check back in a few hours. All right, so I am doing a check-in in sunlight, so you guys can see. It's holding up really well. Um, it may be a little light for me, but my skin looks perfect, so definitely really liking it. All right, so I am back. Um, it is around 1.50 now, so it's been about 11, 12, 1, so I'm about three hours now. Um, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna get real close and personal. I am getting a little bit shiny. Again, I did not set this with powder, so this is actually not bad at all. Um, it's very hot out and very humid, so I was expecting to have a lot more shine coming through, but it doesn't look that bad, you guys. Um, excuse the mess. It's real life. All right, um, but yeah, so let me just get a little bit closer to the window so you guys can see what it actually looks like on my skin. Um, it's really flawless. I mean, it looks perfect. It almost doesn't look like I have any foundation on. Um, and again, that is due to my skincare and the condition of my skin right now. My skin is really good, so that may have something to do with it. And I didn't apply a ton, but it's definitely still covering. And yeah, the makeup on top of it looks really good. And again, I didn't use setting powder, so I'm really surprised that the blush and the contour didn't get blotchy on top of the foundation. And that wasn't me being like, oh, I'm gonna test it out and see if you need to set it. I fucking completely forgot. So um, I'm really pleasantly surprised by that. So I'm gonna go about my day. I'm doing some editing. So yeah, I'm gonna check in with you guys in a little bit and then we'll do a final check in at the end of the day when I'm about to wash this off at around seven o'clock. So guys, it is currently 4.30, so it has been about five hours now. I applied it at 11.15 um, or 11.20 or something like that. So it has been on now for about five hours, and this is what it looks like. It's pretty much the same. Obviously, there's a little bit of shine coming in this area here and on my nose. Um, my forehead has remained pretty matte. It's not greasy, it's just like dewy. Um, so I'm super, super impressed. Let me zoom you in. This is after four or five, around four and a half, five hours. 
So again, I'm getting a little bit shiny in this area, my nose as well. So guys, I will do another check-in at seven o'clock, which will be a full eight hours. Again, I started at around 11, 15, 11, 20 ish, so I'll do it at eight and that will pretty much be a full eight hours. Uh, or seven, and that'll be pretty much a full eight hours. I did do a few videos on my phone, so I'll insert those as well. But so far, so good. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I wanted to do a bathroom check-in as well, because you all know the lighting in the bathroom doesn't lie. Um, we all look horrible in the bathroom, so let's see. So this is what it looks like in, like, non-fluorescent, non-daylight. Under, like, halogen fluorescent lights, or these are not fluorescent, fluorescent, these are, like, is it halogen? I don't remember. But yeah, so that's what it looks like so far. I'm really, really enjoying this again, so I'll do another check-in um, at the end when I'm about to take everything off, and then I'll see you guys soon. Okay, guys, so we are here for the final check-in. Excuse the lighting, but it is dark outside now, so I can't do a check-in in front of the light, or like sunlight. But I have had this on for a full eight hours. It is 7.08 p.m., and I began this challenger test at 11 like 20 something I don't know I am pretty much over this I want to take it off so bad and that is not because of the foundation I just I hate foundation so I'm gonna wash this off in just a second but I do want to show you guys how it looks it's it's perfect I can't really say enough good things about this foundation um, excuse my eyes I did try to I was playing with colors and then they got all messy because I took a nap but anyway I'm really not that shiny at all. I have not powdered anything. I added a little more highlight to my brow bone, so this is not oil, this is just highlight. My nose, of course, is a little oily just because that always happens, but my forehead stayed very matte and dewy, and it doesn't, it honestly feels like there's nothing on my face. Um, I know it's there and it's clogging my pores and I want to get it off, but it's awesome. Like, this is eight hours of wear and, like, it's it looks like skin, right? It looks like I have nothing on. Oh my god, so smudgy. So guys, I am so impressed with this foundation. It is absolutely awesome. I am definitely gonna continue using it. Um, you do get actually quite a bit of product, and as you saw, I was just stamping on my face. Like, I'm twisting for a while now. Um, let me see. Wow, this is... So yeah, you get a decent amount of product in here. It's not as thick as like the Makeup Forever HD, but I think that doesn't dispense as high, so it may be around the same amount of product. But this stuff is awesome. I really don't see myself going through it very quickly, again, because I don't wear foundation often. But on days where I want to have perfect skin, this will definitely be my go-to. I'm in love with it. I don't know if I mentioned the price. It does retail for around $52. So that's really typical for an hourglass product. Um, for foundation, that's a little up there. But performance-wise, I I've never tried a foundation that looks like this at the end of an eight hour day. Now, I didn't go to work and I wasn't doing anything too intensive, but it's like really good. I am so, so in love with this. I give it a huge, huge, huge thumbs up. Cannot recommend it enough. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy this video. If you like this format, let me know. I did totally steal it from Tati and I'm not ashamed to say that because I love her and she's my inspiration. She's right there. I wake up to her every day and say goodbye to her every day when I go to work. It's a crazy mental thing. But anyway, um, I will definitely be trying to do more of this type of video because I think it was a lot of fun. And I'll see you guys in my next one. So don't forget to subscribe so you can catch up and keep up with those. And until then, bye. -yo.